hey, it's it's great for the family business when USC is rocking and rolling and entering October unbeaten and with great odds for a New Year's Six Bowl. I mean, we're not going to talk about Pac-12 title because that's still a really complicated, jumbled race. But, and this is why we emphasize the Oregon State game, you get through this hurdle, you look at the schedule, all right? Not many big Pac-12 road games left. You have the Utah game. The other uh, non-Los Angeles road game is Tucson, Arizona, October 29, and that's after an off week. And uh, Arizona just gave up 49 points to Cal. I'm I'm feeling pretty good about USC's ability to score points against Arizona. And so we wrote this on Sunday morning after the Oregon State win. You know, we had to wait for it. We couldn't write that column until after the Oregon State victory. But if USC does not lose in Los Angeles, that includes the game against UCLA, which is a ro road game in Pasadena in the Rose Bowl Stadium. If USC does not lose in Los Angeles, guaranteed to be 10 and 2 at minimum and you know very likely 11 and 1 if you can at least uh you know avoid uh losing in Tucson uh to Arizona. So that's why we we circled that Oregon State game all off season because the the schedule is very favorable, so many games in LA. USC does not leave Los Angeles in November. Two home games, the the quote unquote road game against UCLA, which that you don't have to travel for, and then the home game against Notre Dame. USC is going to have home cooking throughout November, and so you know if you just get through this Washington State, Utah, Tucson set of three games as we move ahead in October. That's an 11 and one record. That's definitely a New Year's Six bowl, and it certainly puts the playoff and the Pac-12 championship in play. You know, we'll see how the Pac-12 race unfolds, but that's that's why this Oregon State game was so big. So USC already with two road conference wins. No one else in the Pac-12 has that. We have Washington UCLA coming up this Friday. Washington hasn't played a road game yet. So like USC had a front-loaded schedule in terms of road games, road tests. Trojans have passed them. Not the way we expected, of course. But, like, got the W. Like, that's what matters. Win your clunkers, as all USC fans have been saying the past 72 hours. Certainly not the kind of game that a Clay Helton team would have won. So, winning Oregon, at Oregon State, it has set up the Trojans for a big year. And I'm not talking playoff, all right? But, like, New Year's Six. Get back to a prestigious January game. Get 10-2. Those were the real points of focus. And I think even, even the harshest USC critic or the biggest USC skeptic has to admit now, now that the Trojans have gotten out of Corvallis with a win, if the preseason over under win total for this team was 9.5, you now need to raise it to 10.5. That's now really the, I think the true question, can this team get, get 11 and one, but work like worst case scenario right now looks like 10 and two. Uh, I don't know where you find two losses on the schedule. I mean, Washington State could be thorny, but you know, if Bo Nix was able to carve up that Washington State secondary, I'm feeling pretty good about Caleb Williams' ability to do the same. Washington State's defense looked bad, and I have to say, Mark, you know, you follow the Big Ten on your podcast, Big Ten Paradigm, part of the College Gridiron Coast to Coast Podcast Network. When Washington State got carved up by Oregon. That was a big red flag for me. Whoa, Ohio State's going to actually murder these guys uh, because Washington State stuffed Wisconsin. Wisconsin did not score a point, one point in the second half against with this Washington State defense. Like, woo, woo, woo. The, the, the sirens were going off for me uh, late in the Wazoo Oregon State game. And, and sure enough, you know, that was a no contest with Ohio State and Wisconsin. So Washington State. You know, Jake Dickert did a great job last year with that defense. Can't be, can't like what uh, we're seeing from the Washington State defense. So USC, when we get to that game on October eight, obviously we have Arizona State first. But like, I, you know, I'm feeling good about what USC and Lincoln Riley going up against that Washington State secondary, especially the safeties. Uh, so, you know, ten and two now seems like the floor for the 2022 USC Trojans.